it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun video for you. I'm going to show you how to convert a hand-drawn image like this into an SVG that you can put onto a t-shirt. Now the t-shirt I used is a Bella in Canvas pink. I used white, storm gray, Tiffany blue, periwinkle, and peppermint. Thermoflex Plus HTD, all the vinyl, all the supplies are available on my website. But remember, you don't have to purchase from us. We will still keep doing tutorials. But remember, this week through Sunday, the t-shirt guide is on sale. So the 9, 12, 15, and 16 inch are on sale for $6.95. And the 20 inch is on sale for $8.95. Now, if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, I'll go over how we made this. So as you can see on Bing, I have Corel Draw pulled up. There's a couple of different versions. There's the Graphic Suite, which is for resellable items. There's also Home and Family, which runs about $100. And that is the version that I have. So we're going to go ahead and go down here to our Corel Draw screen, which looks like this. We're going to go ahead and go to File, Import. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of our Downloads folder. And that is where we have our bunny scan image saved. Now, I just used a traditional flatbed scanner. I have a Canon one that I bought off of Amazon. It was like $100. And I'm just importing it in where as curves and then use a substituted font. There is no font in this. So that is what our hand-drawn bunny looks like. Nadia drew it. Isn't it adorable? So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is rotate it around 90 degrees so I can see what it will look like on the shirt. Next, I'm going to grab my crop tool because if you actually look at the corners of the page, because it was scanned in, there is some shadowing and things like that. So if I crop it, it makes it a little bit easier to clean up. So there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the PDF again. I'm going to go up here to the bitmaps tab. And before I can trace it, because this is a PDF, I do need to convert it to a bitmap. I want to choose a black and white image because that'll make it crisper to trace. There we go. Now we can go ahead and choose trace bitmap, outline trace, detailed logo, Reduce bitmap. Look how cute that looks. We can add a tad bit more smoothing because this was drawn with a Sharpie. Um, which is one of the easiest ways to create a hand-drawn image, black and white. You can add your color in your art program, but having it drawn with a Sharpie a lot of times is the easiest way to do it. Let's see if we add a little bit more smoothing to it. Okie dokie. I like how that looks, so we're going to go ahead and select OK. So, we're going to go ahead and delete that bitmap background. And now we have our bunny image. So, we want to go ahead and ungroup all the objects. We are going to be putting this on a pink shirt. So, this gives us a chance to see what it'll look like on the pink shirt. So, I think I want to make my bunny pink. I think that'll be cute and then do so it'll be the pink shirt showing through on the bunny a body of the bunny and I think I'm going to use the rainbow white for its tail or should I leave the bunny white hmm we'll leave the bunny white we might use rainbow white glitter for the entire not sure yet. So we do want to go ahead and color in our eggs. So let's choose maybe a pretty blue. Oh, 
I don't want to make it too complex. So we'll use some of the pink from the shirt to show through. Just to make it not so crazy as far as colors go. Make it a little bit easier to work with. Okay. Maybe we'll choose like a lavendery color. And we'll choose it for that one. Oh, undo that. So it is cute as a purple bunny, isn't it? It all just kind of depends on what you want. Now, I will upload this SVG to our Patreon page for my $4 or more a month patrons. Um, just in case this isn't something that you're wanting to recreate. But, I mean, you really can't recreate it. It's hand-drawn. Um, but something you can have to create an Easter shirt. Now, we need one more color, maybe a green. Now, remember, these are not the colors. Hold on. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. I accidentally shifted that. So it didn't look right. So now I want to go ahead and select those three pieces and we'll color those green. Now I want to go ahead and select the whole design. And we're going to go ahead and choose trim. That makes sure everything, like if I remove a piece of this, it just has the background under it. You see what I'm saying? So go ahead and do that. We can delete the background image. We're going to go ahead and select the entire design. And we're going to go ahead and group objects together. So now it is ready to be exported as an SVG. So now I'm going to choose go to file. Go to export. Now I'm going to save it as a bunny scan as an SVG. Okie dokie. I want the compatibility to be one to one, non RGB colors. That's fine. Let's preview our image. Now, one thing we do need to do, hold up. See our page background? You saw how it was cutting off a portion of our bunny? We want to make sure our bunny fits on that page. Because if you don't, when you go to export it, it will cut off a portion. So now we're going to go to File, Export, Export as an SVG. We're going to say Bunny Scan. Export and click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and open up our Cricut Design Space. Which may take a second. You know, working off the computer. OK, we're going to go ahead and maximize the window. Go to New Project, Upload, Upload Image, Browse, where did you save it? Let's go to Quick Access, that'll probably show me. Sometimes it's helpful if you remember where you save stuff to. There's our bunny scan. But if you don't, it's fine too. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and click save. 
select our little bunny. Isn't it cute? Okay, so as you can see right now, it's at 11 and a half inches wide, which is pretty big. So we don't want to make it that big. If we're going to do it for a front of a shirt, we want to make it smaller. So we're going to make this design 10.5 inches wide, which is standard for the front of a shirt. Now, one thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and ungroup our image. And we want to select things of light color, just like we normally do, and weld them together. Okay, so there's our little bunny body. Very, very simple to do. Okay, we're just going to make that where we can't see that one right now. Now we're going to go and choose our green pieces. Which there are three of. And select weld. Again, once that's welded, we're going to take and make it where we can't see it. It makes it a little bit easier to work with. Now we're going to choose our lavendery color. Weld that. Scroll up to the top and take it where we can't see it. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. So now we're going to select our blue layer. Weld. Do the same thing with our pink weld and we're going to scroll up to the top and we're going to take both of those away. Now instead of having to go through and select all those pieces because of this we're going to go ahead and select all the rest of it and click weld. Now we can bring the rest of our image back so we can see it. So, as you can see, it's all sorted. So now we have it down to a six color design. Now we're gonna click on make it. And we wanna go ahead and make sure we mirror our image. There we go. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to click continue. And choose everyday iron on. Now if you'll give me a minute to get this cut, I'll show you how to put this all together. So as you can see, I have my vinyl pieces laid out. I went ahead and weeded the bunny. This is just plain white Thermoflex Plus. So we're going to go ahead and weed our outline to our bunny, which instead of using black, I decided to use storm gray. I figured that this was going to blend a little bit better with our pastel colors. I thought that the gray wouldn't look as harsh next to it. And I decided to go ahead and weed on camera because sometimes y'all want to see it, other times not so... We'll go ahead and weed this on camera. It won't take too long. I do have my easy press heating to 330 degrees. All the colors that I am using are available on my website. They're all made by specialty materials. They're Thermoflex Plus brand, which is, if you followed me for a while, you know it's my favorite. So there's my easy press showing that it's hot. There we go.
and my Easy Weed and Wooden Pick. All my tools are available on my website too. And don't forget the t-shirt guide that we're going to use to line this up later is on sale this week for $6.95. It's down from $9.95 for the 12, 15, 9, and 16 inch versions. And the 20 inch version is on sale for $8.95 down from $11.95. And that sale will end Sunday. And the storm gray portion is going to be the part that takes the longest weed. I mean, let's be realistic. It's the one with the most cuts in it because it is the outline for the entire design. So, and as you can see, I don't have a pink piece cut because that is going to be the shirt showing through. But I used Periwinkle, Peppermint, and Tiffany Blue as the rest of my pastel shades. There we go. And it just screams spring to me. And this would be cute on a flag as well. And I did upload both the completed SVG and the regular SVG or the PDF before it's traced if you wanted something to practice with. There we go. So now all the pieces are weeded. So we'll go ahead and set this to the side. We're going to grab our steady buddy, which, ah, sorry. I bumped the camera. 15 by 24 inch steady Betty. You know it's my favorite thing to use. We have a pink Bella in Canvas t-shirt. Again, one of my favorite brands to use. So we just line it up onto our pressing board, collar off, sleeves off. Let me angle it so you can see it. Let me grab my vinyl. Since when I put the shirt on, I knocked everything down. Okay. Grab our t-shirt guide. And I think I want to start with the white piece first because since the gray is going to outline everything, I feel like I'm going to get a cleaner look by starting with the white and then doing the gray on top of it, that and then the rest of the colors. So there's what our bunny looks like. And I just folded it in half and lined it up with center on my t-shirt guide. Now we're going to go ahead and cover and we're going to press this in two sections for about five seconds each section because we don't want it to stretch that will help with lining up. Because we'll go back and do a final pressing to make sure it's all good and stuck. But this is just kind of like your base pressing. So that way our vinyl doesn't shift too much so it's easier to line up, if that makes sense. Because vinyl will stretch. And now we're just going to line up our bunny. Adjusting as we go to make sure everything lines up well. But you see what I'm saying, sometimes it still shifts on you.
just pulling down as we go, making sure everything lines up pretty well. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. And if you wanted to make it perfect, you could leave your gray solid and then lay your white on top. But I like it to have that homemade kind of look, especially for a drawing like this. As you can see, I didn't go in and perfect everything, but I wanted it to have that kind of arts and crafts look. You know, my daughter drew this, it's super cute. I wanted it to look like it was hand-drawn. There we go. Now, we can start with our lavender pieces. There we go. See how cute she's looking? Just a couple of seconds, tack it on. We'll go ahead and do our Tiffany blue piece. There we go. Couple of seconds. There we go. Now our peppermint layer. I love how this is looking. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and press for the full 15 seconds over that peppermint layer in the front half of our bunny. Okay, there we go. Full 15 seconds on the back half of our bunny. And there we go. Look how cute it looks. Now, if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over everything we just did. So hopefully you like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon, Next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new tutorials, and then on Tuesdays are our live Q&As. So I guess that's it, so we'll see y'all on Monday. Bye.